<laughs> Buenos dias, amores. So I recently bought some brushes from Amazon and I wanted to basically unbox them for you guys and try them out on camera. See if they're worth it. They were originally 20 bucks. I think it was like $19.99. And I got a notification saying that they were on sale for $15.99. And then when I went into it, it said it had like a 15% off code, which helped with um, taxes. So I went ahead and got them. I needed new brushes anyway. I love brushes. I collect brushes. So I went ahead and bought them. So anyway, I decided to go ahead and test them on here for you guys. So if you want to see how these brushes look and how they work, stay with me. So let's go ahead and unbox these puppies. They are called Do Color Dream in Color. And it's this cute little like mermaid, unicorny, whatever you want to call it. This seems to be the new theme um, type box. You hear the toys it's my daughter in the background and it's called fantasy set two so there must be a set number one these are 11 pieces and there is a powder brush a foundation brush a tapered brush a blush brush a blending brush a large eyeshadow brush small eye eyeshadow brush angled eyebrow brush um, eyeliner brush duo eyebrow brush and a fan brush and then I guess the little rabbit means that it's uh, cruelty free is that right <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong um, and I guess you can find them on social media the materials of these brushes is synthetic fiber aluminum tubes and plastic handles so here they are in the bag let's open the biggest one which I think is a powder brush Ooh. Mm. It's really soft, but you definitely feel the synthetic. Um, I hope it works. I feel like it's going to hold powder, though. It's not really going to distribute it on your face, but we'll find out. We're going to use them. So there's the powder brush. Get this one. This looks like a foundation brush nice and flat beautiful colors I love the colors I've brought brushes from Amazon before but I felt like they were very childlike these are my old brushes I still use them because I do like them but I feel like they're more for like when a teenager is learning to to use makeup but I gave it another shot they're definitely the type of brush that you just want to like keep playing with and will definitely feel amazing on your skin I think get on with the rest instead of playing around with each one of them that's a good highlighter brush there this one's a good contouring brush kinda like get in there I like that it's small I've had contouring brushes in this shape before but they're too big and I feel like it the bronzer is all over the place. And then we have all of these eye brushes. There's your typical, um, I would say that's like a blending brush, but it's kind of small for a blending brush. Mm, a crease brush. That would work as a crease brush. And then there is this packing brush. Would definitely be. Yeah. It's a packing brush. And then there's a lip brush or you can use it for like the inner corners or to outline the bottom lash line there's also this brush would actually be good for the lips too it's kinda flat hmm and then there's your typical spoolie and eyebrow brush so far, I think these brushes, they seem good. There's even a nice little eyeliner brush, which I'm not going to open it because I usually don't use these. But I did hear that on our next Boxy Charm, we might get a uh, potted eyeliner. So I'll save that just in case. And then the last one is this beautiful little fan brush, which I doubt I'll use too because I don't really use highlighters. 
but it's still pretty. I like how they put the colors in there. It's purple and blue. So I'm going to go ahead and use the brushes. I'm going to use them my own way. I'm not really going to use them by what the box said. Um, and I'm going to keep it pretty simple today just because it's the evening. I'm not going anywhere, so I don't have to look glamorous for anything. Um, so I'm going to keep it simple, and um, I'm going to use my Bare Minerals, um, the Bare Pro liquid foundation today. For setting powder, I'm going to use my Peach Perfect, and then for bronzer, I'm going to use my Physicians. And for a little bit of color on the cheeks, I'm going to use um, my Sweet Peach. Sweet pea. Sweet, sweetie pie. Oh my goodness. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to pump a few pumps of this foundation on the back of my hand. It is probably going to be a tiny bit dark because I bought this last summer, I think. Go ahead and apply it to the skin. So it seems to be laying the foundation pretty good. It is kind of like absorbing some of it, but not a lot of it. It's spreading the foundation pretty evenly, the way I thought it would, just because of how they're packed in there. So I do like this brush. Good. I'm liking this. I'm liking this brush. Yes. Yes. So this foundation brush was pretty good. Um, like I said, it did absorb some of the foundation, um, but I felt like it distribute the foundation really nice and even and evenly. <laughs> In some spots, I, like my nose, like sometimes I want to go lighter, I felt like it just, it worked with me. Like I would go lighter and it actually would even that out the way that I wanted it. So I really enjoyed this as a foundation brush so far. The next brush I'm going to use is this one that kind of looks like a highlighting brush. I don't highlight, so this one is going to be more to like contour with my butter bronzer. So I just swirl it in there. Let's see how it picks up the product. Mm, it's not picking a lot up. Eh, it's decent. It should be enough. Yeah, it picked up. I mean, not a lot. It didn't pick up a lot. But it's fine because then um, you can build it up slowly. Like, you know, some brushes you pick up product and then you end up putting way too much on your cheeks and you look dirty. <laughs> So this is like good for basically building up. I mean, some people do like, you know, having all of that product and then just blending it out. So it's personal preference. Okay. But for these brushes being nice and cheap for the whole set, I'm not complaining. So that looks good. It looks very good. Let's go ahead and put some down here. Chisel up that jaw a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yes, girl. It looks good. Like this would even be per I don't contour my nose, but this would even be perfect to contour your nose if you're the type that uses bronzer to contour. So, but I'm not one of them. I'm all right with my big nose. So now I'm going to go ahead and take the one that I said looked like a contouring brush, which is this angled little brush, 
And I'm going to go ahead and use my Sweetie Pie um, bronzer. It's supposed to be a bronzer, but because it has like little pink and, you know, it has a, a couple different shades in there, I kind of use it, I kind of like to use it more as I blush just because it's, um, I don't know, it's more sheer. So we have these three right here. We have kind of like a blending brush, but it's very small. I like them to be a little bit fuller. That way you can blend out the harsh lines. And then we have a fluffy packing brush. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Anyway, I guess I didn't talk about the packaging. The packaging is like, it's very cheap, very, not flimsy. I mean, if you decide to want to break it, it's definitely going to break. Um, it's not like high quality or anything. Like I said, so far I'm liking them. So anyway, let's get to the eyes. I am going to dip into my Little Pony palette by ColourPop. And I'm going to use this shimmer to put here under the brow. I know people do this last when they do their eyes, but hey. It's me. It's me. So with that same brush, I'm going to dip into Flutterby, I think that's what it says, and I'm going to use that as kind of like a transition color, and I think I wasn't supposed to do that because I just lost all my product when I tapped it out. Esta noche, bebé, te quiero comer. Alright, I'm gonna dip into. I got this in my Beyond Beautiful bag. I figure I'd try it out. It's a little duo, two blues. I'm gonna use the lighter one for the inner corner of the eye, or almost all over the eye. And then the darker one, if it'll pick it up, it's not even picking it up. Mm. I'm going to use some spray. Let's spray. Okay, that one was a little bit better, a little bit easier. So the brush has to be like really wet for me to be able to pick it up. I'm going to try to go back to that blending brush, this one, and go into the darker, ooh, I picked that one up like nothing. Look at that. I wonder if it's just the lighter blue. Hmm. And I'm going to use that for the outer corner of my eye. Okay, I picked it up, but now it doesn't want to put it on my eye. So we're going to go back into the My Little Pony palette and see if it's the eyeshadow itself that doesn't want to be picked up by the brush or if it's the brush. Yeah. So it seems like now it's fine. So it might have been the eyeshadow. Which, I hate to say it, but I'm not surprised. Alright, so the last brush that I have to use is this one, and then I'm going to go ahead and finish my eyes off camera. And I'm actually going to go into a lighter blue even though the other one just transferred right down so I went ahead and finished the rest of my eyes I'm gonna go ahead and use highlighter for you guys so I could use the fan brush and I think I have highlighter in here if I can open it so 
so I think this is highlighter. This is an e.l.f. palette that I got in one of the, I want to say the Target boxes. So. So yeah, the brushes, <laughs> this brush in particular, picks up the product pretty good for a little fan brush. Like, can you guys see the highlight? Go ahead and do. It'll keep its bowl. Manouge. So there you go. I am wearing highlighter for you guys. <laughs> On camera, it looks great. Just in real life, like it looks like I'm greasy to me, and it just it bothers me so much. But anyway, there's that brush, and then the last brush that I have to use is the one that I think I said I would probably use for lips, which is this one. I don't know what this brush is. I think it's meant to be for eyeliner, maybe? This is the only one that I could think would be an angled eyebrow brush. It's not really angled, it's kind of a little, little square. Alright, I was going to use it for lips, but since it's supposed to be an eyebrow brush, is what I'm assuming, I'm going to go ahead and use it for eyebrows. It turns out I do not have a um, eyebrow product other than um, eyeline, eyebrow pencils, is what I meant to say. Um, so I'm going to use eyeshadow. Why not? So I'm going to use a brown eyeshadow. It might be a little darker than my brows, but we're going to go ahead and go with it. I've never seen a brush like this, so oh, that was too much, oh no. In a way, I feel like this brush could be for multiple things. Like, the shape of it is great for the eyebrows. As you can see, it's it's working for the eyebrows. The shape is great for underneath the eye. The shape is great for smudging out your liner, if you decide to smudge out your liner. And it is, like, the perfect um, shape for a lip. So, this could be multiple uses. Whatever you desire on using this brush, it's probably going to work for you, more than likely. So. I'm going to go ahead and finish this eyebrow. And then finish the other one off camera. So there's the eyebrow using this brush. And I think it worked really, really well actually. It looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and do my final thoughts on the brushes. Are they good brushes for the price? Yes. Are they the best brushes? No. <laughs> Um, they did their job, um, they have a great price, and they work, so, and I just dropped one, um, so they worked out, um, I didn't have any trouble with them, I did have trouble blending out the blue, but I think that was the product, not the, um, other than that, I didn't have any issues with the brushes, they blended out, you know, nicely, they applied everything I needed nicely, um, I have no complaints. The price is nice. Like I said, they're not the best brushes. They're not like, whoa, you have to have these brushes. 
they're just they're good for the price they're decent they work and it just shows that you don't have to go all out for brushes when there's decent brushes out there that I keep dropping <laughs> that you can use and save your money so thank you guys for watching and I hope you liked um, my little review on these brushes if you'd like to check those out I found them on Amazon and there was a sale I don't know if the sale is still going on they were originally $19.99 and the sale was for $15 or $14.99 and then you got a 15% off I think if you're a prime member um but yeah thank you again and I will see you next time I love you guys all have a good so I received some brushes from Amazon no 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 because I didn't receive them I bought them um so thank you guys for watching washing what